Luka Doncic needs new teammates and here is why. At this point in Luka's career, it is obvious that he is a once in a generation type of player. How many times have we seen players primes get wasted on poor teams? We were seeing it with LeBron in Cleveland before he went to Miami and more recently we were starting to possibly see it with Anthony Davis in New Orleans before he got traded to the Lakers. And I'm afraid this will be the same thing for Luka Doncic and Kristaps Porzingis. They are two players who are good enough enough to win a ring, but basketball is a team game and it's not common for a team to win a championship when it's only two guys carrying all the load. For example, when the Warriors were on top of the NBA, even though it pains me to admit they were on top of the NBA, their slogan was strength in numbers because everyone on that bench was able to contribute significantly and they all knew their role. Unfortunately, the same can't be said about the Mavericks. Last night, Luka Doncic became the youngest player to ever record this stat line, 30 points, 20 rebounds, and 12 assists. Maybe he was mad that the Sacramento Kings drafted Marvin Bagley over him, I don't know, but regardless of what the reason is, Luka Doncic went off last night. Now here's why I say Luka needs better teammates. As I said, Luka put up 30 points last night. The entire bench combined, they only put up 19 points. How is one guy, one guy in his second year, outscoring the entire entire bench. Even though Luka and Kristaps are a good enough duo to win a championship in the next couple of years, they're not going to be able to do that without a bench. That is why the Spurs beat the Miami Heat back when LeBron was there. Even though the LeBron James, Dwayne Wade, Chris Bosh trio was better than the trio in San Antonio, the San Antonio bench was way more cohesive than the one in Miami. But if you think the only issue comes with Luka doing a lot of the scoring and his teammates not contributing enough, it actually goes a lot deeper than that. That. Not only did Luka have 30 points, he also put up 12 rebounds last night and the entire bench only combined for 12 rebounds. Once again, how is a shooting guard in his second year in the NBA out rebounding the entire bench? Rebounds are the easiest stat to get. You can just stand there and one will accidentally fall into your hands every so often. How is one guy getting nearly twice as many rebounds as the entire bench? If it was Dennis Rodman, maybe I could understand Understand it, but a six foot seven shooting guard in his second year. If I'm Luka Doncic, I want to slap every single one of my bench players. But wait, if you thought it was bad enough that Luka outscored the entire bench and out rebounded the entire bench, Luka also had more assists than the entire bench. Last night, Luka had 12 assists and the entire bench combined for only six assists. Where is the team chemistry? Where is the skill? How do you guys expect to ever help this man win a championship if you guys can't? even help yourselves on the court. I do not want to see Luka's prime get wasted. And this isn't the first time it has happened this season. I just waited for it to happen again to make a video on it. How does this happen multiple times in one season? Luka cannot win a championship if he does not get the help he needs. If he had the Clippers bench, then it would be a completely different story and they might even be the second seed this year. But here's what really scares me for Luka and what could happen if the Mavericks don't get him more help. If the Mavericks don't get him more help, one of two things is going to happen. One, he is either going to leave the Mavericks and go somewhere else that gives him a better chance at a championship, or he's going to get injured on the court because he's doing so much work. Right now, it's kind of okay because he's still young, he's still agile, and as far as we know, he's not prone to any major injuries. But if he keeps doing this for five or six years in a row, an injury is bound to happen at that point. I genuinely feel bad for Luka because he is barely getting paid for all the work he's doing. Look at all these guys who are getting getting paid more than Luka and leaving him and Kristaps to do all the work. Trey Burke put up 7 points in 24 minutes and Trey Burke has been playing a lot better lately and some of y'all might be saying, Ray, Trey Burke is a point guard, 7 points is okay. Fine, then please explain the zero assist. There's no excuse for a 21 year old to be out scoring, out rebounding and out assisting the entire bench. If this was the first time, then okay, I wouldn't be this upset, but multiple times. And now going to the Sacramento Kings, if I were the Kings coach, I believe it to be Luke Walton, I would be extremely mad at my centers. Like I said, Luka Doncic had 20 rebounds by himself and the Kings centers combined, they only combined for 25 rebounds. How is a 21 year old shooting guard almost putting up the same amount of rebounds as the centers on the other team combined? 
it's unfortunate and I just hope Luca gets some new teammates because he doesn't deserve this. Now the next reason has to do with Kristaps Porzingis. Like I said, Kristaps and Luca are good enough to win a championship. However, listen to this from Kristaps. Kristaps Porzingis had 22 points and 7 rebounds and once again the bench only combined for 19 points. So not only do we have one guy outscoring the entire bench, we have two guys putting up more points by themselves than their entire bench combined. And that is why the Mavericks are the seventh seed and they're not going to make it very far in the playoffs this year. Don't get me wrong, Luka and Kristaps are great players, but in the playoffs you need the bench even more than in the regular season. If their bench isn't coming through in the regular season, they sure as hell aren't going to come through in the playoffs. I genuinely feel bad for Luka. I'm scared for his future and I don't want to see him end up like one of those players who doesn't win a ring. You guys heard it here first. If he doesn't get more help, he is either going to leave the Mavericks or unfortunately he's going to get injured. So please get Luca some new teammates. I don't want the guy to get injured. That's it, you guys. That's my take for the day. Leave a like if you watch this video all the way through. It really helps out the YouTube algorithm. I want to know what you think of everything I said. And there's a red button down low. It says something like sub Subway sandwich. So if you can hit the Subway sandwich button, I'd appreciate it. All right, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Stay blessed and I'm out of here. If you're still here, consider watching this other video I picked out for you down below. Please just watch it. I'm trying to get to 300 subs, so go watch that video. Let me know what y'all think. And hit the like button on that video too. All right, see you guys.